the luxury sector then. A big, big deal for the luxury sector this morning. Overhaul. And perhaps comes as no surprise because Gucci has been a bit of a thorn in the side of Caring Group of late. If you just look back to their third quarter numbers, we saw that on a like-for-like -like basis, Gucci sales fell almost 2%, much worse than analysts had expected. And it's largely Asia, Asia which has been the problem. China, Hong Kong, pro-democracy, of course, protests, stopping some spending there. But also we're reining back in it in buying overtly branded and luxurious goods. This has hit both Louis Vuitton and Gucci. They've been seen as having too many, too much logos, too, not, not subtle enough. We want, we want demure. Less is more. Exactly. And so it's been hurt in Asia. US is going pretty well, but for Gucci, it hasn't been a particularly pleasant couple of years. So funnily enough, the CEO and the creative director are to go. Francois-Henri Pinault calls Gucci one of the most iconic and well-known and prominent luxury brands in the world. But he wants to see, and he puts it in the statement, new momentum, and they want to continue to write bright chapters for this exceptional history of this brand. So the new CEO coming in is Marco Bizzari. Now, he has been at Curring Group for a long time already. He was already recently just appointed CEO of Caring's Luxury Couture and Leather Goods Division, but he's run Stella McCartney when he joined 2005. He also headed Bottega Veneta. Now, this is quite interesting because the CEO who is leaving, he's replacing Pit Patrizio Di Marco, I, I wish Francine was here sometimes, um, uh, replacing Patrizio Di Marco, who he himself had led Bottega Veneta, which really has been the jewel in the crown of Graering Group. It's been the one that, the brand that really kept that allure of exclusivity. The handbags have been flying off the shelves. So interestingly, that the one, the prominent brand that continues to outperform, they're pinching the talent from mm. and going to use him to now so drive seems, Gucci. That seems to be the training ground. Uh, yeah. then for, for the new leadership of the of the overall group, but no new creative director as yet uh -oh. for Gucci. Yes, could we have another Bul Mulberry problem on our hands? Because remember, Mulberry was They're about short to supply, create, aren't they? Creative directors. Go and chat to them. It's pretty hard <laughs> to get hold of one. But yes, um, a female Frida Gian Giannini creative director. She will leave her position February 2015. She's going to continue to show the full winter 2015-2016 show. That happens until the 25th of February. After that, she will leave, but they haven't yet appointed a new creative director. But she too has been at Caring Group and Gucci a long time. She joined Sep well, it was back in September 2002 that she started lead designing the handbags of Gucci. She then took over as creative director 2006. So really both these two people are celebrated within the statement that's come out today. I think Pino, the head of Caring Group, has wanted to say, look, don't forget the legacy of Gucci. Yes, they've had a bit of a bad time in the last year or so with China, but this is a 93-year-old fashion house. They have managed to really drive up revenues, they've managed to expand the brand internationally. And he said, look, they are still one of the leading, most prominent luxury brands out there. But it's been a bit difficult in the last few months, so perhaps not that much of a shock to many that they're just rearranging their cards, playing some of their Trump hands, I think. Yeah, and you see Bottega Veneta, Brioni and Christopher Kane.